Nigeria, a country blessed with vast fertile lands, naturally suitable for all kinds of agricultural activities. This makes it the largest producer of tomatoes in Sub-Saharan Africa and 13th in the world with an estimated annual output of 2.4 million tons. Statistics has shown that Nigeria accounts for over 65% of tomatoes produced in the entire West African sub-region. Unfortunately, Nigeria is also among the largest importer of tomato paste in the world, causing a setback to the nation's economy. How can a country like Nigeria spend nearly $500 million a year on tomato products importation? When states like Kano, Kassina, Plateau, Kaduna, Zamfara, everywhere are busy producing tomatoes in such large quantities. When investors have put in factories and cannot produce, this is blamed on poor policy implementation in the past administration, poor preservation method, marketing and lack of agricultural inputs, among other major factors. Challenges in tomato value chain, especially importation and quest for a lasting solution brought together stakeholders and the Nigerian agribusiness group at a summit in Kano. They discussed issues affecting tomato farmers in Nigeria and a way forward. If the government invests in irrigation, provides high yield variety of seeds for tomato farmers, gives them skills, gives them training, and they produce but cannot preserve the tomato and it perishes, the government loses its investment. So, I always say that if you are operating in a value chain, you must have a clear line of sight from the beginning to the end. Before you even plant your tomato seed, please know who's going to buy it. Economic diversification agenda. The tomato policy was developed by the federal government to boost local production and processing of tomato. In the implementation of the policy, the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment continuously engages all relevant MTAs and other stakeholders to design and develop specific programs and projects for the successful attainment of the objectives of the tomato policy. In view of these concerns, Kano State Governor Abdullahi Umar Ganduji and stakeholders recommended a ban on tomato importation into the country. Now you have succeeded in producing a lot of tomato, but the main problem is that the price is very, very low compared to how much you have put to produce this tomato. We require a fiscal policy in this country. We are calling upon our President Muhammad Buhari, who requested us to go back to the farm. Now we have gone back to the we have gone back to the farm, and we like him to implement a very very important fiscal policy, especially pertaining to the import importation of tomato paste. The government doesn't do nothing on the policy it made all last two years. It has already put a policy. And that policy seems to be plotted by the importers. They have totally ignored it. And the agency, government agencies are not really strictly, especially the custom, ensuring that they comply. And also the NAPDAC. So we believe this is the only major challenge. So the call at that conference was government should ban it 100%. Because it seems like there's a big connivance between the importers and some government officials to subvert that policy. And they will continue to do so. And we, the farmers also, and, and other stakeholders will continue to suffer. No matter the effort we have put in, if the ban is not taking place, as you said, we have the capacity to supply even our neighboring countries, not only Nigeria. The only problem is the government, whether it has the will to ensure that happens. And like we have said at the conference, 
even rice is a much a more serious issue compared to tomato. Tomato can grow in virtually everywhere in this country. There's no need for the country to continuously import tomato concentrate. And this tomato concentrate, there's nothing added to it. It's purely tomato. You extract the extra water, you concentrate the solid, and you pack it in a septic bag. Then you can reconstitute it to use at a later stage when you are out of the season. That's the mainly the business. To achieve self-sufficiency in production of tomato and to diversify the economy, the federal government of Nigeria, through the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, put in all the necessary efforts and enforcement. Policies. We are battling smuggling and we shall do a lot more to deal with the issue of tomato paste smuggling through indirect means. We hear now that some of the those packaging tomato paste give LPOs to Nigerian smugglers who use their own money, buy dollars on the streets and then bring in the paste and supply to them, which is why government has not earned one dime. Take my word for it, we shall deal with it. As such, Dongwati Tomato Producing Factory is now building a bigger greenhouse to increase plantation and distribution of varieties of tomato seedlings to local farmers and to nurture more nursery plants for distribution so as to speed up production in quantity and quality in order to be able to meet up with the rapid domestic demands. What we have done, we've been able now to put up a greenhouse and we are just about completing one of the biggest uh, uh, seedling house, which is known any other one in the country. We're putting up 25,000 square meters of seedling house. We'll be able to produce a million seed a day. That million seed a day will be an improved seedling that will give farmers from about 10 tons they used to usually get per hectare to almost 45 to 50 tons per hectare. We have now also developed our own land of over 200 hectares to demonstrate to the farmers the yield per hectare using this same improved seedling. So we hope with what we have done, the farmers will see the result, which they are seeing now. Most of them have been to our farm, they have seen what the yield is looking like and they can see the, the fruit how it's doing. And we believe from this coming uh, 2019, most of the farmers, our outgrowers, will use this particular seedling. Now once they use this seedling, they will be able to sell and make more money and we'll be able to buy more and be able to process continuously without having to stop. Normally the season is about four to five months. So we believe we'll be able to run continuously, non-stop, for, from December to May uh, next month. In addition to this, the CBN Governor, Godwin Imifeli, during a visit to the Dongwati farms, stated that the Central Bank of Nigeria is ready to provide lots of support and assistance to tomato farmers. One hectare of tomatoes, right? At one hectare, one hectare farm for tomato yields only 10 tons. But the kind of seedlings that Sanitan Hotel has brought in from abroad is a seedling that will, with, this, with, with, this, with the various herbicides and everything, will now produce 70 tons per hectare, eight times what it is going to be. What this means is that the cost of production of the farmers will reduce. And with the support of government to ensure that we give the local farmers protection, they will be able to sell, they will make money. They will no longer be impoverished. The land for that we are the poverty capital of the world. That we are going to do everything possible to make sure we improve the, the lives of our people to ensure that we move away from where they categorize us. That is our mandate. Governments at the state level commence the efforts shown by Nwati Tomato Producing Company and is fully backing up the successful journey by making available more landmarks. Body among all these stakeholders that is going to be more happier than Kano State. Number one, because the farmers belong to Kano State, they are, and the farmers are the major stakeholders. 
Kano State has really keyed in in partnering with Angote Tomato. We have been uh, doing all that we can to provide the enabling environment. One, in terms of uh, irrigation infrastructure, recently Kano has secured a loan of about $95 million from IDB. And most of this work are going to be done on irrigation infrastructure. Bank of Agri is going to be empowered, is going to be funded very well, so that farmers will have access to funding. People like this Dangote that the CBN governor has said, they are the type of people that really need to be funded so that the issue of empowerment will come in. Beautiful, beautiful. You can see this is what I can just call good faith. When we came two, week, uh, two months ago in the month of February, the, the, the ground for the um, greenhouse was just cleared. But today I can say it's like 60% of the work has been achieved. We went trying to see where they did test trials of tomato seedlings of our six varieties. We can see they are giving us very good reports. The factory also has been fully mounted, it's now in production. They actually, they are doing test production of about 30% capacity. So we have come also to find out how to work with the farmers around here to ensure that they join the scheme and ensure that this, this program runs 100% the plant. Dangote Tomato Producing Company, situated at Kadawa in Kanu State, also has over 200 hectares of land used for the cultivation of different varieties of tomatoes. The company, because this company is a company that produces over 1,200 tons per day, which actually you need about uh, 40 trailers per day, if you put it in terms of vehicles. Now, if this is what this company is up to, then ours is to see that we support this company with all the produce that we're going to produce. And that is why we have to have a high yielding variety that can give us a high yielding material that we can support the company. What we are going to do now is for this year, whatever we are able to realize, we'll send it all to our factory so that the factory can process it. So this is what we are trying to do. The production factory is a high tech, fully equipped facility consisting of machineries and several departments with the capacity to produce 1,200 tons of tomatoes. This is achieved through an outstanding team of over 180 staff selected and trained to fit into the various departments, thereby curbing unemployment by creating job opportunities to lots of youth and local farmers from far and near who are not left behind in the supply chain. I'm of working, but I am enjoying the work here. Okay, how has it helped you? It's helped me in many ways. Before I'm not doing anything, but now I have something to do. I have something doing now. I'm very grateful for everything. To me, throughout my staying here, I learned a lot in this company. What is this job? This job um, I was just at home because I just graduated from my tertiary institution. I just graduated, so I've been at home applying for different companies and dress, but really I was not able to get very grateful for giving me this opportunity to work as a staff here. I'm grateful. In line with these objectives, Angote Group of Company took a bold step towards improving large-scale production of tomato paste by setting up a world-class tomato processing plant. largest producer of tomato, fresh tomato in the, in the world. But uh, that means also a challenge because once you grow the tomato, if you cannot preserve it or process it, it becomes a total waste. As you said also, Nigeria also loses 45% of that production for lack of processing facility. That's why I came up with this factory that will be able to process 1,200 tons a day. 
which will help the farmers to be able to you know, reduce that losses and also help Nigeria to be able to substitute importation of tomato concentrate. What this does is Nigeria is still importing tomato concentrate, which is the processed fresh tomato into uh, a concentrated form without any chemical or so on. Now it means with this factory, Nigeria doesn't need to import any more tomato concentrate. Uh, the farm of one of the tomato outgrowers under the Angote tomato factory. So what is happening now they are harvesting for the factory. So it's one of the farms under the outgrower here in uh, Kona Gafan in Kano State. So now they are harvesting the farm for delivery to the Angote tomato factory. Uh, if you see over there is the Angote truck awaiting discharge of the tomato for onward transmission to the factory for processing. We give them the support, logistics, baskets, crates, and they will harvest for the factory and uh, we ensure we pay them the agreed price uh, within 48 hours every day. Company, because before, almost two, uh, four to five, four to five years ago, we are losing a lot of money because when we produce the tomato, nobody will buy unless when you when, unless you take it to Lagos. But if you reach Lagos, there, if you are not lucky, you will just come without cobble for a one trailer. I'm sure, say our farmers are happy. As we here live this year, we are just thanking thanking this company, the management of this company for this year because they are buying tomato in in, in a short time and they are paying. Immediately when they, when they buy these tomatoes, they will fit. This is the one company, Alhamdulillah. This one company in Yemen is dead. But I'm going to say, 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 I'm going mun samu cigaba ru mun samu wani abu ne ya raguwar tushe wani tumata a wannan kasuwa ta mai albarka sai ya ka wannan shi ne ya samu ke kira ga gwamnatin tarayya da kuma ta jiha sai da hada guyuwa su kara wannan kamfani kwari yin guyuwa na karban wannan tumatar yi a wannan yanki namu kamfani yazo yana sai mu wa Allah godiya kuma mun godiya kamfanin suka zo suna Regi wada asa musokin tefia kaswa nang Yang ina da alheri agumwa numa So sedu so se Yang ngaka che ansina at awkat nang Kumbaga kaswa tela tefia za asa musokin Nama numa za asa musokin asara so sedu so se Nigeria can take the right step, only one move, ban it, get the support from the central bank with Anko borrowers. I will tell Nigerians that we can work a program with the government, every day they can come in here and see the progress. By 2021, Nigeria will not import a kilo of tomato. To go into tomato farming, that will, that will create jobs for our people and the, the export of jobs for tomatoes will stop and then we begin to produce tomatoes for our own consumption. According to Osani Dangote, by the time this plant becomes so fully operational and the farming is improved, we'll find that in the next two, three years, let's say maximum two, three years, we'll begin to even export our own processed tomatoes out of the country. We are praying, this is, this is an interesting initiative, and we are praying and we will continue to give support to people like this. That's what I keep saying. 
we want people to come in and support our initiative to create jobs. We want people to come and support our initiative to say, look, we can produce it in, 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 in Nigeria. Our climate is friendly, our environment is friendly, and we should be able to grow this thing. I feel happy being here today, and we can only just encourage more and more people. And to tell the farmers that the Anchor Bora program for tomato program will now, will now really be more aggressive because of yes. the uh, off-taker arrangement that they're going to have with the Dangote uh, farmers. <laughs>